35 years old. I am divorced, and I live in a van down by the river. In its 40-year history, some of the biggest laughs have come from Madison's biggest star. There's you there! Whoops-a-daisy. He was himself. What you saw was Chris Farley. I don't believe he was acting. Born in Madison in 1964, Chris was a cut-up practically from day one. He just wanted to make people laugh. He did anything for it. It was going to be an interesting ride with Chris, but we all thought, um, like, what is this guy going to do in life? You know, what's he going to do? With Chris Farley. What this Madison native did in 1990 after a successful comedy start in Chicago has become one of the most popular cast members in SNL's 40-year history. And he had a very close relationship with Lauren Michaels. His mom and brother Tom looked back on his life and career, success that surprised even him. Chris would always say, this isn't happening to me. This is amazing. This is amazing. Uh-oh, pump up the jam. Yes. He said to me once, he said, you know, Tommy, you know, you, you, you got to... It's all about risk. It's like the, the next thing out of your mouth could be the funniest thing in the world or could go over like a fart in church. And you don't care. You just say it. Um, hi. Welcome to the Chris Farley Show. Tom says a lot of his brother's most memorable SNL sketches were pretty darn familiar to Tom from their childhood. Did you see Die Hard? <laughs> I couldn't believe that he was being paid for this because he did this to me every night going to bed. Remember that movie we just watched? Yeah, like we just turned the TV off, Chris, I know. I mean, it was it missed a question. That's what I called him. Hey, you remember when you were with the Beatles? <laughs> and... There were other familiar characters, too. I don't own a toothbrush or let my scabs heal. In almost every one of those loud characters, there you, you saw my dad. Um, there was always, you know, my dad was this loud kind of, you know, you know, just you know, center of the universe kind of guy. And that Chippendales dancer... Tom had also seen that character long before Chris was famous. My buddies would nudge me. It's like, look at your brother. And he'd be all on the dance floor with his shirt off, whipping it around to some, you know, piped in music. So when I saw Chippendale dance, I'm like, well, I've seen this act since I was 10 years old. His mom will never forget her reaction. That was the first show that we had seen. And I looked at my husband, Tom, the tears are rolling down my face, and it wasn't from laughter. I thought, oh, he's going to lose his pants on national television. Oh, my Lord, I'm going to have to wear a bag over my head wherever I go. This is, I was just, just stunned. But it was, it was a classic. I love Madison. I love uh, Madison Theater. But there was something they both cherished even more than seeing Chris succeed on TV. When Chris was back home in Madison, you know, getting Chris back to Madison and going to a Badger game or, you know, just going, you know, downtown, that's what I miss the most is when we we're all home here. He loved Wisconsin. He loved coming home. His Midwestern upbringing, that foundation of a fun-loving family, was a big part of Chris Farley's success. He was so good with people. I mean, you walk in a room, he was like a, a lantern on the back porch with moths just would come to it. Sadly, after a long battle with addiction, in 1997, at the age of 33, Chris died of a drug overdose. Today, February 15th, would have been his 51st birthday. Unfortunately, he didn't come through, but he tried. He tried very hard. I think about him all the time. He's always there. He's always part of, part of life. Nearly 18 years after his death, Chris Farley is still bringing laughter to people's lives. What do you miss most about Chris? Everything. Everything. He was special. Yeah, he really was. He brought a lot of joy and a lot of sorrow and a lot of tears, but mostly joy. 
That's what children do, don't they?